Good morning, guys. Uh, what are we looking at here? A couple of wind-up torches. That's the best way to... Or generator torches. Uh, they're different inside. Inspired to look at them by a video I spotted on this person's channel. Not sure how they would want their name pronounced. Calo, Calo, Calo. Don't know. Um, it was only a little short little video, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that myself. This one is quite a nice wind-up torch. Uh, bits have fallen out at the moment. Just see if I can hold it together enough to demonstrate it working. Uh, do I have to... There we go, so it does work. It does have a rechargeable battery in there. Nickel metal hydride, 3.6 volts, 40 milliamp hours. And that's the generator. Looks like a little electric motor to me. Um, and in fact, the video that I was watching was inspired by the fact he was using the generator as an electric motor. I'll just see if I can rig up some power to make it run. And then we'll have a look at the other one. Don't do this at home, as they say. I'm just connecting a couple of bare wires there, which we could short together and short out the battery. If I hold that up like that, I should be able to... There we go. So it works exactly the same in reverse. We can put power into it and it generates, well, let's put something between there so it can't short out. Um, that's what I was doing, just making sure the contacts can't touch together and short out the battery. Yeah, so that one works. Electric motor or generator, whichever way round. If you put power into it, it turns us an electric motor. And if you turn the handle instead, it generates power. And if you generate enough power, it charges up the little battery and that keeps it running. Let's see if we can get that to slot together. Is that all the bits? Yeah, that is all the bits. Got some screws to do up, but. But that battery, I would say, is dead. Let's see if that's charged up at all. Oh, very, very faint. Yeah, uh, if we shine it straight at the camera, we can see some light. So, yeah, that one works. No idea how old it is. I think it did have some stickers on it once with a name on it. No, don't know. So I have to put the screws back in that to hold it together. Yeah, that one, uh, that one works nicely. This one doesn't work, and I can see why, because I'll have to go in close, I think. All right, this one's slightly different. Instead of turning the handle, it has a pump action. Uh, so I can just push that back together a bit. That, you pump in and out. That would turn that. And then that gear would turn this one, which is a magnet. And it spins over that coil and those sort of cross pieces there are to take the spinning magnet magnetic field so it has four four negative poles and four positive poles i think is the best way 
the opposite sides of that coil. I don't know if I'm explaining that clearly enough, but the magnet's spinning horizontally and each of those metal plates, which are ferrous, um, act as poles for the coil. So as I just said, if that's a positive, that would be a negative, that would be a positive, that would be a negative, and so on. So as the magnet spins round, and it must be um, arranged so the north and south north, south, north, south, north, south, around the edge, rather than top and bottom. I'm just looking. Is that a little bit of wire in there? And is that a spring? That might be a spring bearing or something to keep it away from the edge. Anyway, oh and it's got uh, metal, what can we call those, hemispheres? No, not hemispheres. <laughs> Semicircular metal plates there to uh, redirect the magnetic field back in. You'd have to study some magnetic or some magnetism articles to understand what I'm saying. Having those metal plates around the outside constrain the magnetic field inside. Best way I can put it. So in effect, I said north, south, north, south all the way around there, but I expect that's just north and south. Just one half is north and one half is south, rather than individual sections. So as that spins round, North will go to north and then to south to north to, and so on. Anyway, the reason it's not working is that wire is broken. I hate these fine wires, but I might be able to resolder that on the end there and get that one working. Other than that, circuit board will have a circuit to charge up that. Exactly the same battery, funnily enough. Nickel metal hydride, 3.6 volts for 40 milliamp hours. So that charges that one up and lights the LEDs. But there's no charge in it, so it's not lighting the LEDs. Yeah, because that's on at the moment. That's not going to suddenly f switch on as I do that. So what I'm going to do see if I can resolder that see if we can get it working again and then put it back together. This is the little USB soldering iron. So when that lights on it should be heating up. It turns itself off if you don't do anything with it for a few seconds so you have to put your finger on there to turn it back on again. Right, with this wire, it's coated, enamel coated. If you hold it in hot solder for long enough, it burns off the enamel, if you're lucky. It doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment. Oh yeah, I think we've got some on the end there. What I've got to try and do though, let's get some on the end of there. Might be some. Well, we might have success there. Don't know if you actually saw it happen. I'll 
move the soldering iron out of the way so I don't burn myself. Right, that switch has got to come across to there. Are we still in camera shot? I've moved it round a bit. Okay, round to there. That bit's going to go into there. That bit going to there. Put that in there, then we can see what we're doing. This bit is going to come up into there. Before I push the switch in place, is that going to fit in there now? Okay, and that bit there actually locks. Feels like it. Okay, so we've got that back in place. And so, so that bit there, push that in, slide that up, and it holds it in place. And then that's the on off switch which is pretty irrelevant when it's got no power in it. Yeah, so those batteries don't last for very long. I expect if you sat there for a good few minutes, you could get some charge into them. A little bit of charge. Okay, so that's back together and working. This one's quite nice, it's got sort of a soft rubberized feeling to it. Branded Unicom, whatever that may be. actually staying on for because there's virtually no light coming out of that that looks quite bright because it's pointing straight at the camera but there is actually some light in that battery or charge in that battery now but not for long right that'll do there's a couple of wind-up torches. And that one has a effectively a motor in it that you can put power through and drive it as a motor instead of a generator. But that one, I don't think you'd get anything out of that. 
it's got no commutator in it so there's nothing to um, redirect you'd have to put AC into it to make it spin the coil like a stepper motor almost almost before people get upset and tell me it's not a stepper motor that'll do thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched thanks again for watching